What's up guys, Graham here. Before we get started on this video, I have to say thank you to El Zorro, which I guess his main character is Aztec at Greybriar. Thank you so much for this gift and he writes in the message, Sup Graham, uh, just wanted to say thanks for the videos. They are very helpful. Keep it up, Meister. Man, really appreciate the gift. Let's see what you got me here. All right, and the right clicky, and it is a Cobalt Krabnorak supply crate, which is the current supply crate that everybody can buy. Let's see what we get out of this bad boy. Right click. Oh my gosh. This is a chest piece that has 11,000 armor, 200... Man, thank you so much. That's a huge upgrade for me, man. I really, really appreciate it. I think that was all that came out of it. That, oh, no. It, I also got 146 void stones. Thank you, man. Appreciate it. Thank you guys so much for all the support that you give me. It means a lot. All right, it's time to find out who's going to be the winner of the Nightmare Tide Ultimate Edition package that we were giving away in last Saturday's video. And for those of you that don't know, this package costs $150 normally. So whoever wins this is really going to be in it. And the rules were simple. All you had to do was be subscribed to the channel, uh, leave a comment underneath the video with your character name and server, and go ahead and hit that thumbs up button because it always helps. Let's go ahead and load the comments here. And there were 282 comments. So picking the winner and the winner is... Man, I, there is no way I'm going to be able to say that name. But we will be sending you a Nightmare Tide Ultimate Edition code just shortly to your inbox. So congratulations, sir. And thank you for all the support. What's up, guys? We're going to be delving into the best rogue build right now that's in 3.0. And it's extremely powerful. It's one of the three super specs that's out right now, and it's absolutely killing everybody. Trust me, this will knock down players. Uh, each of the classes has a really strong spec right now, except for Warrior. Warrior had an extremely powerful spec before 3.0, but once 3.0 hit, Mages got Pyromancer, which was super strong. Uh, Clerics have Inquisitor buffed up, and it is just knocking everybody down as well. And then Rogues have Ranger. And Ranger is what we're going to go over today because I don't want them not nerfing this into the ground before you guys get to use it. So uh, by the time a lot of you watch this video, a lot of you like to watch the videos months down the road, and I still have people watching my 2.6 videos and making comments, hey man, you did this wrong. You know, that changed in 2.8. Well, that's a 2.6 video. So, yeah, if you guys are watching this just as it's been released, use this build because you're going to be killing everybody if you're geared out good enough. And I don't quite have my rogue up to level 65, so I'm just basically going to have to just tell you what the masteries are and all of that because I haven't got him leveled up, but I can't wait to level him up because I've got to get this, uh, this build out to you guys before it gets nerfed. All right, so let's go ahead and go into the soul tree. And I was given this build by Ganked, which is a multi-time godlike arena PvP winner. And this guy really knows what he's talking about whenever it comes to rogue PvP. So he gave me this build, and I'm giving it to you guys now. Um, if you want to see this actual soul tree on a link on a web page, then just go to the description below this video. There will be a link down there and you can look at it on a web page and don't have to squint your eyes at a video here. So we are going 61 into Ranger as you can see and then 12 into Assassin. And the 12 points into Assassin are 5 into Ruthlessness, 2 into Murderous Intent, and 5 into Magnify Pain. 
And then we went three points into Nightblade, and the three points go into Burning Rage. All right, and the masteries that you're going to be using with this build is Aggressive Defense, Revitalize, Juke and Run, Timed Focus, and Energy Manipulation. So if you're level 65, make sure you're using those uh, mastery abilities. All right, the buffs that we're going to be using is Feral Instincts, Ravenous Instincts, Leeching Poison, and Vir Virulent Poison. I think that's how you say it. I always have such trouble trying to say that word. All right, and let's go ahead and go into the macros here. We have a main pet summoning macro here, which uses haste and call. And it, I'm not going to read out all the macros or anything like that because I'm going to have them in the description below so that you can copy and paste it down there. And if you have any trouble copying and pasting them down there, make sure that you're using the right kind of browser because some of them don't work too well with YouTube. Um, the main spam macro is right here. So... And then we have our main finisher macro here. Alright, this here is a break free macro because you get two break frees basically with escape artist. So make sure you're putting that to good use. A lot of people don't like macro and the two abilities together there because they spam the break free once they get CC'd. And they end up using both of them at once. And don't do that. You know, be, take your time hitting the button if you want to macro them together like I have. Alright, and here is the AoE macro. This is going to cast Rain of Arrows if you're, uh, if you're standing still. If you're not standing still, it'll cast Trick Shot instead. Now keep in mind that I macro a lot of things together to make it easier on you guys. And once you master this build, you may want to separate... Uh, abilities onto other buttons this is definitely a way of learning this build and then being able to go out and use it effectively but there's always better ways to use the abilities than macroing them together but this makes it easy on you guys so that's what I'm shooting for all right now what's on my bar here we got the main spam macro we got the finisher macro we've got another finisher called headshot we have the AOE macro and then we have stealth here, which you probably won't ever use stealth because your pet will give you away whenever it's following you. All right, then we have a shot, splinter shot, our pet summon macro, uh, break free on a separate button, which is our break free macro actually, uh, concussive shot, which uh, is our interrupt. We have pin down, which is a root. And you may want to macro that. A lot of people want to do it as a GTAE in a macro. Uh, do it the same way that I have Rain of Arrows. If you look at my Rain of Arrows macro, do it the same way and it will cast it on that area of effect. Uh, and then I have Rejuvenate on a button there to heal. So, alright, how we play this build is relatively simple. But we do need something to keep track of our debuffs and stuff like that that we're going to be putting on to our opponents because such as a shot once we hit somebody with it it's going to make us to where we get uh, a buff that's going to well a debuff onto the opponent that's going to make them take eight percent more damage from us and forty percent more damage from our pet so we need to make sure stuff like that is kept up at all times if we can do it all right so we're going to use K alerts to keep alert of that and you'll see them pop up underneath my feet on my character here. So once we go up and we see an opponent, first thing we'll probably use is a shot. And that's going to apply that debuff to our opponent. So, bam. As you can see right below my character, I have it to where it's showing up and counting down so I can keep track of it. Now you want to keep these uh, debuffs up at all times, but I'm going to let them fall off as I'm explaining to you uh, how to play this build because trying to talk and keep up the debuffs at all times is going to be rather difficult. So once we have a shot up, we'll go ahead and hit our main macro. 
Now, the splinter shot is going to be a bleed that we'll keep up as well, but that's not going to be a priority at the very beginning of our rotation. So once you have the A shot uh, debuff up, go ahead and hit your main macro until you have five combo points. Once you have the five combo points, you want to go ahead and cast headshot as your finisher. And that's going to apply another buff to you, actually, and it's something that you need to keep up with. So we're going to cast headshot, and as you see, I have K alerts make it pop up. And for one minute, it's going to allow us to do 5% more damage with our pet. So we need to keep that up as much as possible. So, after we do that, we go ahead and spam our main button again, and we can also throw in Splinter Shot to apply our bleed. And as you see, I have that pop up as well. Well, once we have five combo points and we've got all of our debuffs up, which is a shot, our bleed, and the uh, headshot uh, buff that we have there, then we want to hit our finisher macro and this finisher is going to do a lot of damage to somebody with all of your buffs and debuffs up so let's go ahead and hit that and bam does a lot of damage as you can see but on players it's going to be absolutely just devastating because it's going to hit them for a lot of damage trust me and they're going to they're going to panic especially with your pet hitting so much harder now because in that macro we have a lot of things that buff up our pet as well so that's basically how to play this build it's super easy all you have to do is keep up your ace shot keep up your bleed do your head shot which i'm only going to do two combo points there and then spam your main button and then use your main finisher at will and it's that easy so we're going to apply the bleed again ace shot back up Keep spamming and then go ahead and hit our main macro. Now our headshot uh, buff is about to go down shortly so let's go ahead and refresh that. Now we've got a full minute to deal with that. So really this is an extremely easy build. If your pet ends up dying go ahead and hit your uh, macro that resummons the pet. Uh, and it'll cast it instantly as you've seen. Well I accidentally spammed it there but uh it'll cast your pet instantly if somebody kills it so that's basically the whole build make sure that your masteries are aggressive defense revitalize juke and run time focus and energy manipulation and hopefully i'll have this rogue leveled up real soon so i can take advantage of this as well because this is an extremely overpowered spec right now and It'll probably get nerfed some, but it was it was pretty strong before 3.0 hit. Now it's just even stronger. So, as usual guys, my name is Grim, and if you enjoyed this video, make sure that you hit the thumbs up button. Uh, if you're new to Rift and wanting to create an account, make sure you use my referral link below because that link will allow you to have uh, a special cape in the game it'll give you I believe you even get a special title you get uh, some uh, enchants to put on your weapons that make them glow a cool color all kinds of stuff and it also puts you on all of my friends list and me on all of yours so once you get max level we can PvP together and trust me anybody that's used my referral link they're on a high priority for me to play with so I hope you guys enjoyed this video and as usual I will see you next time.